New developments today in the Sandra Bland investigation. In less than two hours, a hearing is scheduled in the grand jury case surrounding her death. But right now, there is a rally happening ahead of the hearing. Jace Larson is live downtown where this is all happening. Jace, what are you seeing out there? Well, we're just outside the federal courthouse here. This crowd has grown over the past 10 or 15 minutes or so. Uh, let me show you kind of what's going on. People have made signs here. The purpose, they tell me, uh, is to make sure that people know that Sandra Bland's name is still very much alive. They want people to know that they are here also to support the family for this court hearing that's going to be happening later on today. We're expecting at 2 o'clock. This is the federal civil case uh, that is going before a judge. Today is going to be a routine hearing. We're not expecting him to make any decision, but he might actually decide which day the trial will begin. Now, just about 15 minutes ago, I spoke to one of the people here who had gathered, and I asked him what his message is for the people who are watching. Well, my purpose is to come and um, support and solidarity with the family, Sandra Bland's family, her mother and her sisters, um, along with other activists and protesters, uh, to be out here outside for a few hours before the actual uh, time for the court case. Now, let me make one clarification for you here. This is actually outside of the federal courthouse here. So this is the civil rights case that was brought uh, by Sandra Bland's family against both the Department of Public Service and also the sheriff in the county there where she died. Uh, this is not the same as the grand jury case that is looking into whether or not criminal charges should be filed. Again, the hearing begins here in federal court at 2 o'clock. I'll be inside, and I will let you know what's happening on Twitter and Facebook. We'll also have a full report for you on our afternoon shows. Live in downtown, Chase Larson, KPRC Channel 2 News.